Hi, my name is Ayal Tritel. I'm Director of Technical Marketing here at Redaxio Systems. Welcome to the demonstration for Redaxio Backdating for Virtualization. So in continuation of the previous demo, uh, what I actually didn't tell you beforehand is that the DB1 server, the SQL server that we've uh, dealt with beforehand, is actually a virtual machine. So here I kind of zoomed out our view and you can see the VMware Remote Console accessing DB1. And in the background is the uh, vSphere web client, and you can see that v DB1 is actually a, a virtual machine. This virtual machine is actually stored on the ERP production data store. This data store is actually stored on the, uh, uh, the Redaxis system as well. So if I uh, kind of go back to the uh, Redaxio storage uh, management software, let me log in again here. What we can see is actually the uh, ESX servers named Lab ESX. Uh, this is the Lab ESX uh, cluster. And it's got this uh, data store for ERP production volume, which is a five terabyte volume used for, uh, for uh, VMware data stores. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is I'm gonna actually power off the, the virtual machine. So we can see here that I'm actually uh, powering it off. There's a task for that occurring at uh, 12, 59, 16 a.m. And what we can do here is basically delete the uh, DB1 virtual machine. So this is obviously, uh, um, you know, an even bigger disaster now with the virtual machine being deleted. So what we can do actually, uh, luckily we have Redaxio uh, storage here and we can use the Redaxio backdating feature to recover the virtual machine back in time. So let's uh let's go and do that so let me access the um the reduxio system again from within my uh my own uh, system and what i'm actually going to do is actually go back to this data store volume i'll uh, look it up so this is actually named DS ERP production, great, I found it. So what I'm gonna do is access the Redaxio backdating feature. So um, as I explained before, the Redaxio backdating feature enables you to um, recover application volumes back in time to any second in the past without upfront planning or uh, any administration. So basically I've not planned anything here uh, upfront. Uh, so I'm actually able to perform this entire uh, recovery uh, just like that. So if I go back to the vCenter uh, vSphere administration, the powering off of the machine, the deletion occurred actually at uh, 109, uh, 100, uh, sorry, 02 AM. So what I can see here is that the system was uh, basically powered off at 1259, 16 AM. This is actually um, equivalent to 3 p.m. in the uh, um, in the Redux system. There's some time zone difference here. So basically, the um, minute is 59:16. That's the power off moment. So I will try to go just a few seconds before that. So let's go back to the Redaxio interface. So 59:16. So what I'm actually going to do here is to go back to 02. 59 and just 11 seconds. So basically just five seconds before the power off um, has actually occurred. And I will try to uh, uh, attempt to clone here. So basically I'm actually cloning the entire data store. And here we have it. So this data store is basically containing the same data as the original data store, the one that's still alive and running and may serve other uh, virtual machines. 
but this is actually a different version of the same data store that was backdated to 0259.11. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to assign this data store to the um, to the lab e6 cluster so we have this concept of host groups this is uh, easing the pain for um, allocating and assigning storage to a cluster of systems so it's um, very tuned for e6i environments uh, where you have uh, clusters of e6i hosts so now that this is uh, assigned, I'm actually going to go back to the vCenter uh, vSphere client. I'm actually going to go to the E6 server. And I'm actually going to uh, go to storage, devices, and I'm actually going to rescan for new devices. So while the rescan is uh, running, what I can tell you uh, is that uh, we're actually working right now on a new vCenter uh, vSphere uh, web client plugin that will basically cut the time uh, of, you know, um, even though it's very short time to, uh, to perform this recovery, we will cut this recovery uh, even shorter because the vCenter um, integration will provide contextual menus right into the data store and uh, host configuration of VMware, you can configure Redexio data store right from the web client and you can recover them back in time similar to the way I do it right now, uh, right from the vSphere web client interface. So that's gonna uh, bring even simpler recoverability and this will be available uh, shortly uh, in, the coming, uh, in the coming few weeks. So basically we have now a new device uh, discovered. You can see here that I have um, another uh, five terabyte volume that wasn't there before. So what I can do right now is I'll go to data stores again. And I will add another data store. So connecting to um, a clone data store is similar to creating a new one. So this should uh, present me the new storage device for the clone. Great, so this is uh, basically, as you can see here, this is the, um, what VMware refers to as a snapshot volume for, for the ERP volume, ERP production data store. I'm going to actually assign a new signature to not conflict with the existing data store. So basically I'm now connecting to the clone data store that was cloned back in time to just a few seconds before I deleted the DB1 virtual machine. So once that it will be available, what I will be able to do is browse the data store and find the DB1 virtual machine. So now that I have this snapshot um, clone data store, I can actually go right in. Look for the files, the contents of this data store. And here it is. The DB1 virtual machine is right there the same way it was at, at that uh, same uh, time frame. And I will actually go to the uh, VMX file, register the VM, just the way it was before in the databases folder, the same name, db1, connected, connecting to the same E6i cluster. And there it is. So let me go back to the virtual machines view. And here's my lovely database VM again. And let me power it on. And we'll try to go back to the remote console that is kind of crashed before. So this basically 
uh, tells me this is moved or copied. So I will basically say I actually moved it because it now lives on this other data store, different name. And now that it's kind of powering up, I'll shoot up this VMware remote console. And I will log in. And boy, I can tell you that I'm so much relieved that this VM is back and alive and well. So Windows kind of thinks that this was like a, you know, power off um, abruptly. It, it, I mean, it was, right? But the fun thing is that I can actually go back, start up the SQL Server Management Studio, same way as it was before. I'll uh, connect to the database. I see my ERP and front end databases again. And uh, let me start up the uh, select query. And my database is up and running. This was a demonstration of the Reduxio backdating for virtualization. Thank you for watching.